No, I'm trying yours up. See how it looks. Liking? Guys, fight number three on fight week one, fight camp week one. I was just a little bit shocked, guys. I lost my words because I've just seen Fabio Wardley's moustache. He's grown very quickly since I saw him last night. Of course, Simon Valilli now come accustomed to that moustache. Andy Scott lost his recently as well. Sorry to hear that. But we're here in a fascinating heavyweight matchup. We all love heavyweight boxing. And I love, love, love this fight. The English heavyweight championship on the line between Fabio Wardley and Simon Valilli. Here you have two different stories, two different progressions in their career. Fabio Wardley been brought through in the heavyweight ranks, no serious tests yet, under the tutelage and management of Dillian White. People are talking about him as a domestic heavyweight that can be up there with Dubois and Joyce and Simon Valilli, who we've seen in plenty of wars on matchroom shows, even for Bradis, uh, Maris Bradis, the, the World Cruiserweight Championship, uh, champion at short notice. He moved from cruiserweight to heavyweight, looks good, looks strong. A lot of people, Fancy and an upset in this fight with Simon Valilli. I spoke to Tony Bell, who sparred many rounds with Simon Valilli. said this is going to be a very, very tough fight for Fabio Wardley. But like the fight previously with Dalton Smith against Nathan Bennett, we're going to find out exactly what Fabio Wardley is all about. So Fabio, what are you about? Certainly not that Tash, I think, in future. But <laughs> looking forward to a big test on Saturday night. And let's be honest, on Saturday, your career gets real. Yeah, definitely. On Saturday is the big test. Like, like everyone's been saying, it's the, the common out party, the announcement, the, the real test to kind of get rid of some of them question marks that people have about me and them reservations that maybe it's just all hype or maybe it's just the backing that I have or the build up that maybe I'm not, not everything everyone's making up to be, but I'm here to prove that I am. Simon's had some strong words in this, this build-up. He believes he's going to knock you out. We had a great Zoom between the two of you as well. I know he's been sparring very well with Martin Bacola. You see this as a real test, and, and you expect Valili to bring the heat on Saturday? Oh, yeah, 100%. I, I expect him to bring it full force, full force. He says this is the best shape he's been in. He's been able, with the lockdown and stuff, to fully focus on the gym and the work and stuff. So hopefully on Saturday night, I get the best Simon Valili. And then that will lead me to saying that I got the proper win and I, I took on a real competitor and I got that win. Simon, firstly, what do you think of this moustache? Obviously not, not, at, not at your level. I don't think he's man enough to go real well, is he? I'm just testing it out, bud. I'm just seeing uh, how you feel about it. No. no? Don't like it? No. Not for it? Didn't suit you. No? Alright, I'll, I'll shave it off. All right. All right. Simon, um, you look in great shape. I know you've done fantastic rounds with Bacoli up there, and, and what an opportunity for you. I mean, I remember you know, when you turned professional, you looked like you might be a major player in the cruiserweight division, but all of a sudden, you look like you might be a player in the heavyweight division, the most lucrative of all. You have to take this chance, right? Yeah, it's a great chance, great opportunity. I'm in great shape for it. I've uh, applied myself properly, focused, trained well, trained hard, trained properly, done it all right. Uh, Fabio, yeah, he possesses some talent. I'm not going to sit here and say he, has, he doesn't, because he does. He's fast, he's athletic. But the best sound body beats the best Fabio Wardley. We haven't seen the best sound body. I'm sick one about it. But, you know, I think you might be expecting the sound body from the Craig over fight, from the half iron ball fight, but I can assure you that you won't live a on Saturday night. You know, he's had a few white collar fights, he's, he's banged a few German out and he's spouse some good fighters. You know, he's managed by Dillian White. Wow, you know what I mean? I have lost no sleep over him because I know when I'm on my game, this fella doesn't stand a chance. And we can sit here and sit as much as we want. We can talk a load of crap in the press conferences, but when that bell goes, that's what I'm talking about because all this means nothing else but it's Tony Bell, you gave a great analysis on uh, the, the preview show where I was talking about, you know, Fabio Wardy looks great and all this, and he said, hold on a minute, you don't realise about Simon the Lily's pedigree. You know, the podium squads, obviously the amateurs, the Commonwealth Games, the ABA Championships as well. He says that you may be more skillful than Fabio Wardley as well. A lot of people talking about Fabio is going to move well and you've got to try and walk him down and knock him out. Do you expect the, the, the skill levels to come into this as well? I think you feel like you're underrated in that respect. Yeah, 100%, but I don't mind that. I, I enjoy that. He's underrated me, you know, and Tony Bowie Rose, not a few, more, but a lot of people, only a few people know that. When I'm on my game, the amount of talent I possess is much more than that one there. And I've had a few things, you know, he's going to sit back and box and this and I have to come forward and I have to get him in the dogfight. I don't know where that's come from. I, I could easily outbox you for 10 rounds. Box me down with you, honestly. Mm. But all this talk of me having a 10 with a dogfight and me after this and that, 
If you want to sit in the box, I'll sit in the box, no problem. I'll jump up first to pieces. Well, we would rather see you have a tear up, to be honest with you, lads. But you've got to do what you've got to do. But Fabio, are you are you ready to go to those those <coughs> those depths on Saturday night to get the victory? Are you ready for a dog fight? Are you going to box a move? Are you going to mix it up? Are you he ready? Doesn't to know go? he's ready for a dog fight. He doesn't know where he's ready. He, do you think he's got it in him for a dog fight? We'll see on Saturday where we'll go, but he doesn't know. No one knows. He's knocked eight genuine out. Wow. He's sparred with some good fighters. Wow. Who hasn't? I wouldn't say even going about sparring, 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 sparring names and all that. No one gives a fuck. Sparring. I mean, let's get real, let's box, let's fight. Saturday night, town schools, lights on, me and you in the ring. Bish, bash, bosh. Do you get that work? I'm ready for it. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to show. That I need a real competitor in front of me, someone who's not and going I, to I hope you're the next best thing to slice bread. Yeah? I hope you are. Yeah. Do you yeah. think he is? When it comes, when it comes, I you want to eat on your face. Is. And you're asleep on that floor, and you're right, 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 and, right, and you're right, saying right, it was right, all hype, right. and it was all hype. I'm a bother in time, I'm all the hype, I don't listen to the hype, I'm bothered, I couldn't give two fucks. I hope you are, best thing to slice bread, I hope you are, because if you are, I promise you, I can be whatever you are, honestly. There's nothing in your arsenal that you can beat me with. There's yeah. nothing there. You're washed up. Let's be, let's be honest. Let's oh, be honest. Let's be honest yeah, you yeah. came to heavyweight because you wasn't committed. You yeah. couldn't do cruiserweight. You couldn't make the weight anymore. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't be bothered to train. You couldn't yeah. bother to put the work yeah. in. Yeah. And you came to heavyweight thinking, oh, I'll be a bit lazy with my training and I'll knock a few people out. And now you're here and you're in with a real heavyweight who's going to punch your face in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a real one. Real heavyweight. Listen to me. We can sit here, we go back and forth, this and that, this and that. But when it comes down to it, you fuck all. You've I'm done a bit of white collar boxing. You've knocked eight gentlemen. Wow. There's about another 2,000 professional fighters like you in the country. You've got white collar boxing and knocked eight gentlemen out. Are we, let's, let's, let's be real. Are we, let's be honest. Yeah, we're here. We're let's, let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm here. I'm here to show oh, you. Oh, oh, I, 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 I'm just. 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 i am it looks like you could even grow a tash in, you're not still running. You look like a big dyke. So you look, you look like I'm, I'm young, I'm pretty, I look nice. That's what you look like, you look like a big dyke, you look like a that's what you look like. Saturday night, tune in, boom. We'll see what this comes about. We'll see what I'm about. Let's get on. Well, we apologise for any language there, but uh, we are in quarantine, you can do it and to we, you. Can we have a face off? We definitely will have a face yeah. off, a, a distance right. one. Place back of the room, please. Onto the camera. English Heavyweight Championship. The Let's real, go, baby. The real must touch. The real. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Well done, well done. Can you go to see Andy Scott? Fabio, come this way, mate. Simon. Sorry, nice one, we all. Wow. Yeah, it's good to go and do the last room. Good to go, mate.